Well, it's April 2012, and we've just had two nights of uh, frost freeze events, um, 25 degrees low, low temperatures. And, uh, and we're coming off one of the warmest March, uh, springs really, uh, February and March on record. So our crops, in particular our grapes, are about a month ahead of normal development. And so this is one of our early varieties uh, called Marquette that was already out at uh, four to six inch shoots. The clusters were fully exposed and um, they just were not at all uh, able to withstand the cold temperatures that we had. So all of the primary shoots that had developed uh, were killed. And, uh, and so now it's a matter of the vines uh, recovering by growing um, their secondary buds. The primary shoots on this uh, spur or cane that we left began growing a few weeks ago and we're out pretty far, about three inches or so, and we're killed. The secondary bud is just now developing at that node and similarly at this node as well. But on some of the nodes where the, the growth had not occurred yet, um, we still have a live primary bud and uh, um, it's just at early swell stage. It would be tolerant to 20 degrees or colder probably at this time at that stage. So we can check to see if those are live or not with a, with a sharp knife cutting right through the center of that bud. We should be able to see uh, hopefully a, a green growing point and if we look very closely we can see the cluster primordia uh, and all of the, the parts of that shoot that are developed, they developed last year and are beginning their, um, their initiation this year for growth. So uh, on a vine like this one we probably have uh, uh, capacity for a full crop just on these, these delayed uh, primary shoots that have, haven't started growing yet. Again, we're just going to wait and see what happens over the next couple of weeks. We've got a couple more, three more weeks really before we're out of frost damage anyway. So we're not going to do any pruning. We're going to wait and see what kind of crop we have and make our adjustments later in the year. And for a homeowner, that's exactly what I would recommend. Don't prune anything yet. Wait till, till you see what's going to develop. And um, the dry tissue that's on there now um, is not going to rot and and cause any damage to the vine. It's just going to dry up and fall off. The new buds are, are tender. They're close to that, that older vegetation, so it's best not to handle. Just leave them alone and let the new growth develop as it will. And then um, in about six weeks or so, we're going to know fully how much crop we have. We can make those adjustments and, and uh, carry on with our pest management program at that point.